guys, well as you can see I've just landed in Sydney and I'm about to get on the train and I'm really excited to be here on this holiday. I've got five days in Sydney, uh, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I want to do a lot of touristy things because I'm on holiday, right? So I should see all these kind of things places. So, well in Australia I probably have to go to the Opera House because here it's very beautiful, especially at this time of year. Funnily enough, I've just got a lot of friends here and hopefully I can meet up with as many of them as I can. Um, you know, this is not a party holiday I suppose, uh, but you know, gotta make the most of the time that I've got here before I continue traveling on my world tour. Five days should be enough to see most of the things in Sydney, right? Yeah, I guess the only rule is uh, not no dance. Uh, you know, this is not a dance holiday. This is a holiday, so a travel holiday. So we should make sure that we don't do too much dancing or get too caught up in too many things. It's also much colder than I expected it to be because I've come from a really hot place. Uh, Korea was quite warm and Singapore was quite warm. Uh, I wonder how Sydney will treat me. I've heard there's really friendly people here, really nice places to see. So let's go, let's explore Sydney. Let's explore Sydney together. Hope you can join me. Let's go out for a drink. I hear Australians are really good at drinking. So if you're watching this and you know any cool places to go in Sydney, please let me know. Hopefully we can explore Sydney and enjoy. That's it. <laughs> Uh, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my holiday in Sydney before I go away again. Emily's still the boss. Nothing has changed this week. I'm still on holiday, so please direct all questions and inquiries to Emily. Emily Which will then go be... to Jay. Yes, but I'll deal with them after I come back from my holiday and the other holiday. Emily's boss. Finally, I'm not going to see Whitney again for another three weeks. I'm a very busy person. Whitney! What about? Good luck in your editing okay. for your videos. Yeah, I'll do my best. I feel like you will need all the luck you My job is to make them half as good as Bill and Whitney's vlog. Whitney also went to Korea, so it's great. Check out Bill and Whitney's vlog. We'll see. And tell us who had a better time in Korea. It was Bill and Whitney because they're a couple and they love each other. I think they had a better time in Nami Island. But drinking and stuff, I think you did. No, love is the answer. That's what Whitney had. Yeah! Okay, so I'm back now in Sydney. Um, it's been a great trip. Uh, but what I'm left with is gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs of footage. Like every day, I, I use like 32, uh, one of those my first days, 32 gigs. More than that, actually, more than that, every single day. So every day I've got footage and pictures and stuff that I definitely want to put up as a vlog. But obviously, whatever I do is going to be late, right? So let's say I do like the first day of my trip in Korea, it's already 14 days late. That also leaves the problem of what I'm going to do today. Because I'm taking footage talking to you guys now, I'm taking footage like of whatever I do later tonight, of the people that I've seen today when I come back. Do I do today's vlog today? And then try and catch up with the stuff that came in Korea and Japan before that? Or do I go from the first day of Korea and try and run my way through? What's the best thing to do? I really don't know. Um, so I want to ask you guys, what do you think is the best thing that I should do? Do you want me to just resume my daily updating from today and fill in the blanks later? Or do you want me to start from where I left off and make my way as we go along day by day by day? It doesn't really make sense to like be vlogging today and not putting it up today or tomorrow because it's a daily vlog, right? It's not supposed to be like a history vlog. It should happen as it happens. What should I do? Let me know. Alright everyone, so the main reason I came back to Sydney, more than any other reason, is because I love Vivid. Um, and Vivid is my favourite festival in all of Sydney, and it's happening this week. I could have gone to Scandinavia this week, but no. I'm, I'm coming to Vivid, I'm going to see everything that I can see. I've got some shows at Vivid that I'm going to go to, which is the first time I've ever been to like one of the theatre shows at Vivid. Um, so yeah, it's going to be great. But today, where are we at, Princey? Central Park. Central Park! We are at Central Park. I did not know that there were things at Central Park, but Princey did show me. So here we go. It's also raining, which is so poetic. Not really. Isn't it? Lights in the rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try harder than that.
Hi, I'm here with the artist of the Big Love Heart, which I have not seen yet. What's your name, Bus? Edison. Edison, and who are you? I'm Louise. Louise, uh, you made, so uh, Edison, you made the really big love heart that's at Yeah, Circular I thought of the idea. Uh, awesome. Like, w w how did you come up with it? How did you, like, think about you wanted to make this kind of project? I don't know, it came to me. <laughs> like, Is that because you're in love? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> I have hope for humanity. Okay, too. okay. Okay, so it's not about romantic love. It's, it's more about, about... It's about all sorts of love, like, with your family or mm. your friends. Um, just something that connects everyone. <laughs> Jellyfish. Oh, excellent. <laughs> it's so cool. that is, do you know what the Sydney Opera House is? If you don't know what that is either, it doesn't normally look like this. The idea apparently is you go to the microphone and you scream I love you as, long, as loud as you can. Yeah, I have met the artist of this one. I love Vivid, I think it's one of the best festivals uh, in Sydney. Agree, Vivid yeah. for you is still my favorite event in Sydney. Let me do this, because you, unless you guys want to do it with me. Uh, do, do it. Scream into the thing. I love you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go together, come on, we can do it. Yeah, sure. Okay, on three. One, two, three. I love you! Did we do it? Yep. Uh, I like the yeah! We love everybody. Yeah, it's still love. Oh, even more love, even more love. <laughs> These guys are volunteers. Thank you very much, guys. Hey, everybody. I've got something really important to say to somebody very special. Um, and I think with the sign behind me, you kind of know what I'm going to say, right? I want to say, I love you. Notice my silence.